the UN WTO, United Nations World Tourism Organization, announced it was the year of sustainable tourism, for me, in my organization, I thought this is something that we definitely have to be part of. It's definitely in line with the ethos of the Etioni Development Group, mm -hmm. uh, where I serve as the CEO. So our aim is to transform a rural town into a sustainable smart town. Mm -hmm. And why we're doing this is because Africa is growing, Nigeria is growing, the population is increasing, and our urban centers aren't equipped to deal with this rising population. You know, it's, we don't have the infrastructure, we don't have um, the planning. So we're looking to the rural areas and to see how to create wealth there and for people to move there, stay there, have those opportunities and um, then create an economic model and then a template that we can, you know, replicate across Africa. Challenges, I know, are definitely to do with um, heterogeneity. You know, you can start something today. You don't know how, how far it's, how, how much longer it's going to be um, on trend, you know. I, I laugh now when I see video cassettes mentioned on TV, but those were the rage before. So, you know, you, you can never tell. And the thing is that we're not growing as linearly as possible. The growth now in technology is exponential. What was on trend this year, next year it's antiquated. So it's trying to be ahead of that curve. But one advantage that we sort of have in Africa is that a lot of technologies haven't come to us. So we've been able to leapfrog right to, you know, what's, what the current offering is. You know, we've seen that with the mobile money in PESA or mobile penetration on the continent in general. So it's the same sort of uh, model that we're going for with the smart tourism and smart towns. That's fine. Thank you.